coenzyme Q10 supplementation in Parkinson's disease management. Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. Is there a role for coenzyme Q10 in the complementary management of Parkinson's disease? I will tell you that the clinical studies have proven that CoQ10 plays a very important role. We first saw this in the October edition back in 2002 in the Archives of Neurology Journal a uh, research uh, uh, article published by Clifford Schultz and fellow researchers. They gave early stage Parkinson's disease patients different dosages of coenzyme Q10 to help st try to stabilize the disease. They gave them either 0 milligrams, 300 milligrams, 600 milligrams, 900 milligrams, or 1200 milligrams a day. What the study showed is that the higher the dosage the patient got, the better they were able to control their Parkinson's disease overall and those patients had the least amount of progression of their disease. It was obvious within 18 months that CoQ10 was having a substantial effect. So how does CoQ10 help in Parkinson's disease? Well, there's two problems in Parkinson's disease. Number one, the certain, a certain part of the brain is making less dopamine, which is an important chemical in the brain. And when you have less dopamine, you start to have tremors and un uncontrolled movement. And the other part of the, the Parkinson's problem is that free radicals start to damage that part of the brain and you get brain cell death that really can lead to your demise. So CoQ10 has been shown to help the brain make more dopamine. How does it do that? CoQ10 allows that part of the brain to make more energy and, for, and when it has more energy it can make more dopamine. To a large degree, lack of dopamine is associated with a, de is a decline in CoQ10. So as that part of the brain has less CoQ10 available, that's when dopamine levels drop off within what's called the substantia nigra, the part of the brain where Parkinson's begins. Also, CoQ10 is an antioxidant. And in the brain, it's able to quench free radicals to stop damage to the brain cells so that brain cell death doesn't proceed as it normally would in most Parkinson's cases, uh, situations. Now some neurologists have seen the evidence on CoQ10 and they recommend it, but many neurologists haven't seen this information. I don't know why, but they haven't. So if you have Parkinson's disease or you know someone that does have it, click on the link below and read my article on this subject. It's called CoQ10 Supplementation Improves Outcomes in Early Parkinson's Disease. All the scientific references are there so you'll see it's sound uh, evidence-based information. I think it's vital for people to know this. Now remember that at machinohealth.com you'll see my other research review papers, footage from my live professional seminars, other downloads and resources I've created. They're all there to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. All of my review papers and teaching materials are complete with all the scientific references, so you'll know you're getting only sound scientific information from me on any health topic that you're looking for. So be sure to use machinohealth.com as a reliable resource on an ongoing basis of health and wellness information for both you and your family. Thanks so much for watching.